Welcome to my 2023 roundup, aka my most worn clothing of 2023 slash my favorite purchases of 2023. I've been doing these videos separately for a couple of years, but I asked you guys on my Instagram if you would prefer that or have them combined in one video. And that's what the majority voted. You ask, I deliver. You guys know the drill. Check the description box. Everything that I can find will be down there. Let's do beauty lifestyle products first and then I'll finish with fashion. I too fall victim into what's trending on the internet so i had to jump on to the road peptide lip treatment this year and i have to say it might take the top place over my summer fridays vanilla lip butter balm <gasps> i'm still trying to decide which one i like better but i would say they are very comparable in terms of how i like them but they are very different products i personally enjoy the original peptide lip treatment compared to the tinted i have the tinted pack of four but i just find i don't really reach for them that much i'm much more of a lip liner with a clear gloss on top i don't know i just find the ingredients okay that's not the right word the consistency in them to be very different and i just prefer the original better the thing i do like about the summer fridays better is they last longer because they have more product in it but it is what it is sticking with skincare i found the best moisturizer what <laughs> moisturizer i've ever tried in my life in 2023 and that is the ennis free green tea seed hyaluronic cream facial cream that name is so long not only is the packaging so cute but the product itself is amazing i went through a lot with my skin in 2023 if you guys don't know the history i was previously on accutane when i was in high school for a full year and then my acne came back last year with i think just the switch of hormones being on and off birth control i was just going through a lot i think mentally and physically so it caused me to break out and i had well, I didn't have to. I chose to go back on Accutane. This is like one of the only moisturizers that I have found that has no scent, is moisturizing, isn't insanely expensive, and has no pore clogging ingredients in it. I believe this is only like $39, which I know is pricey compared to drugstore, but for Sephora, this is very, very affordable. I could talk about this forever. <laughs> this Glow Serum by Merit is amazing. I have been gifted this a few times, but I actually purchased this for myself because I ran out. That's how much I love it. Like I said, I was on Accutane and one of the side effects that I unfortunately experienced to the extreme was dry skin. So serums were my best friend and I still use this every morning before I apply my other serums and also to gua sha. Oh, the packaging is just so cute too. And no pore clogging ingredients. I hate to bring it up for the 30th time, but I was on Accutane last year, so my skin was super dry and sensitive, and the previous toner that I was using just was way too drying for my skin. It was the ordinary glycolic acid, so I had to cut that out of my routine because it was literally like drying up my whole face my skin was so irritated i believe the glycolic acid one is like a toner and exfoliant combined so it was just too intense for my skin so i made the switch to this one i heard a lot about it the sos spray obviously i use this every single night or sometimes like in the morning or afternoon after i work out just to really kill all the bacteria because i think that's like one of the main things that it does when i want to go for a more intense exfoliant i reach for the drunk elephant baby facial exfoliant this one reacts really well with my skin it's the best one that i personally found it's strong but because you only use it like once a week or twice a month it's not too overpowering and does a job it truly makes your face feel like a baby's bottom just have one makeup product but it's not even really makeup it's the rare beauty blush brush as you can tell she is very well loved i use this every day with my benetton sometimes more if i'm applying more product personally i'm very drawn to aesthetic things but it actually is an amazing brush as well <laughs> if you know you know i love 
love love love the tom ford cherry perfume every single time i go to sephora i spray it on myself and i just bask it in because i love it i've just realized that i will never have it because i personally will never spend 600 dollars on a perfume i don't know about you but that's not how i'm allocating my money so when i saw that dossier makes their twist on that perfume i had to try it out they were actually kind enough to gift me a bunch of perfumes and this was one of the ones that i picked out it's called amber cherry and guys it smells exactly like the tom ford one and surprisingly enough it lasts a very long time every single time i wear this i get compliments on it i think this is my signature scent because i've never had a perfume that i get so many compliments on like i think it just sits really well and reacts really well with my i was gonna say hormones with my pheromones and just skin and everything I'm almost out, but there are a few different cherry perfumes at Sephora I want to try. Lastly for beauty is this IGK Bad Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. It's a heat protectant. It smells so good. It smells like candy. As it claims, I really do believe that it makes my hair very smooth. I honestly haven't tried that many heat protectants, so... I'm not really one to give you the best advice on it, but I love this one. It works for me. I use it whenever I blow out my hair after my way leave-in conditioner. Moving on to clothes and accessories. I'm going to do jewelry first just so I don't forget. I got a couple pieces this year that I am obsessed with. The first one is cutting it very close because I bought it for myself with my Christmas money that I got from family, but she still makes the 2023 cut. It is this Missouri beaded bracelet right here. I think it pairs really nicely with this boyfriend stacker I got for my birthday earlier in the year. Never take these off. And then for necklaces, if you watch my videos or know me in real life, this is like my signature necklace. I never take it off. Like I take it off when I sleep, but I put it back on every single day i don't actually think there's been a day that i haven't wore this since i bought myself it for my birthday but it's the missouri pave initial necklace obviously i have it in the letter t and then the necklace i've had for a while it was my great grandmother's just a gold necklace i'm not gonna wear it out though because it I, I look like the rock and then for earrings i did pick up a few that i want to share so firstly are these anna luisa pave huggies you guys would have seen them in my vlogs earlier in the year i love these so much though i wear them every day i do circulate between stacks every couple of months but since i got these earrings i want to say in the summer i haven't stopped wearing them i just wear them my first hole and then i also have another pair from anna luisa they are these little diamond chain studs. I would include the Huggies, but I don't think I got them last year. They're from Missouri. I am so insanely obsessed with Cove Essentials. I have been since like 2021 when I discovered them. In the fall, they released a New York City nostalgia collection and I fell in love with the colorways. So I had to pick up a good amount of pieces as i said i've loved co for years but i'm honestly not a big fan of the tortoise so when they released these i screamed because i feel like they read my mind with exactly what i wanted i don't know i just like these designs a lot better than the tortoise so i gave my mom those and then replaced my collection with these so i got the daily clip I don't remember the names, but it's like a brown lined design. I get the daily clips in a size medium. And then I got a soul clip and I think this one's honey. It's a little bit of a lighter colorway. Looks really nice in my hair. And I get the soul clips in a medium as well. I think the soul is my favorite clip that Cove has ever released. I also have this style in a light brown color, but I definitely wear this one more. Between the two, I just find like this one, it's easier to clip my hair up in. And then they released these half up, half down clips. And I grabbed them both because I wasn't obsessed with my other ones. I just have one bag and it's the TNA belt bag in black, obviously. I honestly didn't do a lot in 2023. So this was my everyday bag of choice, whether I was going on a hike or a walk or a run or to the grocery store or just out and about doing my thing. This was just the bag that I reached for. Obviously not the cutest, but I would reach for it because of its convenience. And I still use this every day. Definitely one of the most used purchases of 2023 for me. 
I'm basic, I know. But truly guys, I personally feel like they do live up to the hype. They are so cute and comfortable, go with everything. I also have the black, but I wear these a lot more. I've just been really liking a low profile, more small sneaker, I guess. My previous sneaker obsession were the New Balance 550s, but I honestly don't even remember the last time that I wore them. Every time I put them on, I just end up taking them off and not wearing them because they just look and feel so chunky. Okay, I honestly don't even have that many clothes to show you. I just have two things. I love this jacket. I take every opportunity I can to wear it. It's this Zara double face like pilot jacket. I got this earlier. I think it was like this time last year. I ordered it on Depop because zara didn't sell it anymore but they actually re-released it so i believe i can link this for you guys down below because i have seen it at my local zara but i just love it so much i think it's the cutest jacket ever and it's actually surprisingly pretty warm if i layer and dress appropriately i can wear this out in a canadian winter yeah i just really like the vintage vibe to it and the colorway is great because you can get away with wearing it in the spring but also fall and winter so we love an all year round coat. Lastly are a pair of jeans. I actually have them in two colors and I plan on getting a couple more because I'm so obsessed with them. They are the Levi's 90s 501. I have them in the medium wash and the light wash obviously. And I wanna pick them up in black and a creamy white. To me, these are the perfect pair of denim. You guys will see how nice the silhouette and style is in the try on. I've just been super into like a straight mid-rise pair of denim and I really, really like that these look like they're straight from the 90s. Like I feel like whenever I watch Friends and I see Rachel wearing a pair of denim, I'm like, I need that and they made it and that's 2023 wrapped like i said i actually didn't have a lot of clothing pieces to feature which is pretty surprising compared to my previous years however i just didn't do a lot this year because i was working an internship and then also had a part-time job on the side so i just didn't have a lot of time to be going out and doing things and buying things but i've been getting really back into fashion so i'm super excited to bring you guys along with that you guys know the drill check the description box and i'll see you very soon in a new video